it's Christmas Eve, which means a lot of people are going on holiday or will be out celebrating tonight. Our, our winner Wong is now in Chim Sa Choi checking out the festivities. Hi winner, have the celebrations kicked off yet? Hi Diane, so I'm standing here at the Chim Sha Choi Harbour front right now and as you would expect the crowd here just keeps getting bigger. About an hour ago it started to get really dark so um, the lights along this waterfront are really starting to show themselves. Um, as you know Hong Kong has a light show every single night and that's about to happen. The first session of that is about to happen in less than an hour's time and a lot of the locals and the tourists that we've spoken to all say that they're really looking forward to that. Now obviously some people have decided to spend Christmas Eve with this stunning harbor view but there are others who have decided to go abroad uh, and take a short break away from Hong Kong. So let's take a look and see at what happened at the airport earlier today. For many, Christmas means a trip out of town. The airport seemed more bustling than usual today, with people taking advantage of their holidays. This boy says he's looking forward to a white Christmas in Hokkaido. In fact, nearby Japan and South Korea have been very popular destinations for vacationers this holiday season. This tour guide says it has a lot to do with the exchange rate reflecting the strength of the U.S. and Hong Kong dollar against other Asian currencies. The Immigration Department estimates that around 7.37 million people will pass through Hong Kong's sea, land and air control points over the Christmas and New Year period. That's nearly 4 percent more than the same time last year. As for those staying here, checking out Christmas lights along Hong Kong's famous skyline is a traditional favorite. But we might not have the perfect clear skies for that this year. According to the observatory, a humid easterly airstream is bringing foggy weather to the region, while a cold front will reach southern China's coastal areas tonight. In other words, while it seemed like t-shirt weather earlier today, it will get colder as evening falls and visibility won't be great. For those planning to go out and about, do be aware of traffic arrangements. Since 7 p.m., a number of roads in Chim Sha Choi have been closed to traffic. Over on Hong Kong Island, police have also suspended traffic around Lan Kui Fong. And a number of areas in Causeway Bay are now pedestrian-only zones. But you don't have to worry too much about getting home. Most MTR lines, as well as some of the light rail services will be running overnight. Bus companies, green minibuses and the Star Ferry route between Chim Sha Choi and Central will also provide extended services. So like we just mentioned, it's meant to get significantly colder later on today. The sun has gone down, which means the temperatures have dropped as well. But I would say it's still pretty warm, especially for the winter time. But it, it does feel quite humid out here. Um, just a word of reminder, a lot of the roads around this area have closed down for today. So if you're planning on coming here later today, uh, it's probably best to take the MTR. Now, finally, uh, I would like to wish everyone at home a very Merry Christmas. And that's it from me. Back to you at the studio.